A spark of optimism from Toronto's mayor in her quest to secure some desperately needed federal funding for things like the growing housing crisis, transit, and the massive budget deficit. This all comes on the heels of a series of meetings in Ottawa this week and her pitch today to the federal finance minister. There were a lot of nodding of heads. There were a lot of uh, uh, listening. The mayor spent two days in the nation's capital painting a grim picture of Toronto's crippling finances and the desperate need for funding. An overflowing shelter system, a refugee crisis, a lack of transit, affordable housing, and a $1.5 billion budget gap. Mayor Chow says she believes momentum is building and that Ottawa understands the city's dire situation. I try to capture what the tenants are going through right now in the city of Toronto. And I said we need immediate help now. The positive thing is that they didn't say no. They're thinking about it. The mayor spoke with media today after announcing more affordable housing. The city, along with Wigwaman Incorporated, Toronto's oldest and largest urban indigenous housing provider, acquired two low-rise buildings through the residential acquisition program. This allows nonprofits to quickly acquire affordable rentals and improve building conditions, and these homes will be secured as affordable housing for at least 99 years. Chow says they wanted to work with five more of these housing providers but simply ran out of money and I've communicated with the I met with the federal housing minister and I say it's the fastest and cheapest way to keep housing affordable and uh, increase the affordable housing stock City Council recently approved new revenue tools, including a city-specific sales tax or a percentage of the HST. And while the Premier is not in favour of those types of cash grabs, a few weeks ago the province did agree to form a working group to help Toronto find solutions. Mayor Chow campaigned on making funding deals with Queen's Park in Ottawa, and since taking office in July, it has been full steam ahead, including a sit-down today with the Deputy Prime Minister. I'm optimistic. Uh, I, I do what I do uh, because I am optimistic. At this point, no checks have been written. There's no immediate cash flow in sight. Mayor Chow is just hoping this will be the beginning of productive dialogue. Shauna Hunt, City News.